Today, I show you a piece of software that allows you to easily play games while out and about, so you don't need to carry around a keyboard or mouse. Hey everyone, my name is Matt, and well, today I'm reviewing a piece of software which is called, which is a virtual gamepad, and it is made by Palm Tech, uh, Palm Time. Uh, if you, if I just quickly show what it is, so I'll put it there. So, if you, as you can see, I'm just controlling it, and if you're wondering what I'm using to record this, it's I am just using TeamViewer. I've got TeamViewer on my desktop, and I'm just looking at this, so I can just move around the mouse like this. So, this is a game pad which I've created for myself, which is actually pretty good, and it just allows me just to quickly. Uh, what I do is I host a server, and then I join that. Because for some reason I cannot actually, if I start up Minecraft on here, I can't exactly um, start. Like I can create a single player world, but I can't play it for some reason. So this allows me, if I just minimise this quickly, I'm not sure how well it's going to cope with me actually streaming this to in a computer. But as you can see, it is relatively good since you you can see my uh, little. You might be able to see it, I'm not really sure, but down here you can see my swiping thing, so it, allow it allows me just to control the arrow keys, just right click, left click and stuff like that. This, you can customise this by clicking the little cog here, pressing and holding, and then you just slide out to that one, which is edit or unlock, or you could just go and go to the gamepad menu which allows you to either create a brand new one or you can load one or you can save one which you've just made so I'm actually going to create a new one and let's see if it's rich yeah and it says at the top it says new gamepad are you sure and I click yes and there you go it's creating a new gamepad for yourself and what you do is you click that and you have to drag up and it's edit gamepad actually no it's not yeah edit gamepad you've got to like hover over it really strangely and then you just go to either middle is the edit gamepad so edit an existing one or you can add a control so I'm going to click add a control and yeah as you can see long top it's got add, add control so I'm just going to click it as a trackpad and do a mouse touch and the way you can actually resize this is by clicking on it so you can drag it around like that and then to resize it you just press another place and you just drag out annoying thing is though for this is that in order to get it quite small it, you can't exactly get that small because your fingers are actually quite big so you have to just somehow manage to do this like, that is as small as I can get it oh there we go that is as small as I can get it just use my fingers so that is a bit of a difficulty, and say if I wanted to create loads of buttons, but then just like, if, they, if I wanted to be a specific size, it will take a long time. So if I drag that there, and click yes, and in order to you, so just to show that this does work, I'm just going to go to click the middle thing and click lock and activate. So now, this can control the mouse cursor, and I can just do it so I can... I'm going to press and hold, and that is acts as a. It should act right as a right click. Uh, I'm just thinking of something else then, because before you could do it like that. Ah, yeah. So press and hold. It works based as a normal trackpad on a laptop, and this is good. And I'll do a bit more about this. So uh, let's just get back into it. So I'm just going to unlock and edit, and then I'm just going to add a new control. And then just if I go to do a key, and as you can see, it has. I'm just going to bring it up nice and big just so you can see it quite easily. So, what you do is gamepad, that is just so opposed to, so that just changes the whole entire gamepad. Now, that changes the entire gamepad, and I need to start looking up there, not looking up down there, because that is where the actual output is, so I can see myself in the video then yeah, my actual webcam that I'm using to record this is right there. 
So, the opacity, that is just saying how transparent you want this to be and stuff. So, it's actually pretty good for what it is. And the action, so you can create actions. So, you just get yeah, this. You have to use the little scroll wheel. You have to use the scrolling down this side. The annoying thing is, though, if I try and scroll out like that, it doesn't work. Which is kind of disappointing because if you're trying to get. Using, since my size of the screen is 8 inches, trying to get my finger in the precise location is quite difficult. So, it's not that great. But then again, uh, creating the gamepad, you're probably not, once you've got one set up, you're probably going to keep using that one over and over. So, as you can see, there's loads of good things. So, you can be having a left button, right button, so that is. Yeah, I think that's the arrow keys actually. X, Q, yeah, that's enter button. Oh no, the uh, left and right then, that must be the mouses, mouse buttons. Then there's all the letters of the alphabet there. Every key, it seems. There's even the F1 and F, all the F keys. Up to F24. Oh, that's pretty good. So. As you see, launch mail and stuff. You can do this pretty much just to be more like a. Uh, you can you can use it in conjunction with. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you can do this in conjunction with other devices, like other pieces of software. For instance, uh, another video that will be coming up soon is a review of Synergy, which allows me to link computers together. So I can just use one keyboard and mouse, and then just use multiple computers, as in use their screens. Uh, I'll get more into that in another video and I'll get in using this in conjunction with it and then if you want to change the icon so as you can see it's the graph so if I just click that it has a whole list of things so say if I want it to be uh, oh, is that a biohazard sign? No, there's the like so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and yeah, so this is basically just a how to stroke. It's not really much of a review since I haven't really done much of it. Yeah, so this is actually a pretty good piece of software, I must say. Yeah, so there's all of the numbers there. I would like it if there was a way that you can get your own graph in, but it might, since this is um, beta, and I will put in the description down below what version this is uh, if you want you can change their own at the moment there aren't actually two shapes there are only two shapes at the moment which is circle and square so it is a little bit difficult and yeah you can just see it there uh, yeah you should be able to see it there and yeah this is pretty much basic so let's actually just get into some gameplay so I'm actually just gonna remove this and just load in a old gameplay thing a old gamepad so I've got just cause 2 that was just because I was trying out the steam home stream so I was using it I was using my main uh, gaming computer and I was streaming it to this which wasn't that great because it had to go through the Wi-Fi and basically on this tablets uh, Wi-Fi connection isn't that great uh, ooh, what is it into that so the reason why I've got uh, with MC Heli mod is because I was using this in to help with a the animation that I did a couple of days ago, well last week even. So let's just load the Minecraft one, and I might be able, I might put if you want the gamepad uh, layout like the file, and you want to try and use that, I will put a download link in the description below. If I forget, please um, comment so or. Yes, yeah, so comment just so I know. So this is, allows me just to do some basic stuff, really. Like, say if I want to quickly do some building. Oh, didn't mean to rotate it. As you can see, uh, I'm just going to show you. So I'm actually going to deliberately rotate this. So if I rotate this, you can see that the gamepad actually stays in the exact same place, which is just pretty good. And it's just so you can game like this and have the Windows thing up there, so I can just game like this. But I'm just going to go back to landscape instead of being portrait. Come on. There we go. 
Alright, so one Mojang logo loads. Let's see then. So, uh, this product, well, this piece of software is a is a must because I was looking for other ones which allowed you to. Uh, can, like, I was actually looking for something like this and I just came across this. I don't know how. I think it might have just been like a couple going through some Google pages or something. So, let's just go to multiplayer. Yeah, I'm just going to show you the issue that I have. Uh, if you see at the bottom, I've got the numbers. Oop, let me do that. Oop, good, that didn't stop it. So, there we go. There's the numbers, and that's just for the inventory thing, so I can quickly do it. So, uh, this button here, that is a sh the shift button. And, let's see, so let's go to multiplayer. Matt had survival. So, I've actually been doing a bit of survival on this, just because while I was watching TV, I just... Why just to play a bit of Minecraft? We're, since I was when doing sync on the computer and I was watching TV at the same time, so I wanted just to do Minecraft on this. So let's just let this load in. This is actually my Minecraft world that I've been going on. Sorry about the lagginess. It's just because it's streaming and it's not a great. So yeah, I have done a bit of um, mining on this. Oh good, cool. that is. Oh whoa. Okay. I just teleported up. So this is actually a, a pretty good way to just do some gaming while you're out and bang. So if I just go here, I can just right click easily, and I can I can just since I've got a touch screen mode enabled, I can just drag and drop stuff. If you want to know what the button next to the escape button is in the top right corner, so this one here. That just brings up my F3 menu, so I can see what FPS I'm currently doing. So as you can see, it is quite low. That's because I'm got Team Viewer One in, which is streaming it to this. But while I while I'm um, not at, I'm just going to show you some footage right now of some gameplay that I've done. I just put the webcam right. I I wore my um, headset and just put my webcam in between the thing, so it's like aiming down. So if I just show you that now. As you can see, the FPS on that, well, the gameplay is actually pretty easy to do on that. So, I was actually going to try and do a, like a series using just my tablet. Ooh, I was just using my tablet and using the touchpad, but came across some issues when I tried to do some recording because this isn't that powerful. So, uh, this is basically the absolute minimum so or what to do so shift works fine uh, you can add things like if I want to quickly add something so say if I want to, to add the F5 button for instance press and hold this uh, this is the uh, mouse thing so you can well that, this is getting extremely hard called uh, you can do like mouse cursor mode Touchpad mode, camera mode, not really sure what those are, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go to about virtual pad. Is it going to give me any information? Yeah, that's just all this stuff, so yeah, so this is actually a great piece of software to use. I do recommend it if you've got a Windows tablet. Uh, the requirements are that you do actually have a Windows. Uh, a touchscreen mode thing since that's the only way where you can actually probably use this and it saves you from having to carry it around a entire like a you can get like flexible keyboards bluetooth keyboards and it's not actually that much of a um, processor thing so let's just go to task manager and I'll prove it to you that the oh didn't mean to start up that this is disconnect Come on, load it up. Yeah, this this tablet. If you want to see the review that I did on that, click just click on the screen now. Well, actually, yeah, click up here. Click up here if you want to see that review. So let's see the actual in the CPU and RAM input of this actual thing. The gamepad. Let's see where is it? There you go. Ooh keeps moving. There you go, so it's actually 
and four point well ooh, it gets up to 14 but that's just when you're moving the cursor because it has to register that um, it's not actually that much of a problem really if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to know more about this software be sure to click be sure to check out the link in the description down below to their website anyway guys thanks for watching this video uh, if you want to see more of these software reviews uh, please leave a comment below and if you have any suggestions as to what software you want me to review next put it in the description down below I'm just going to say though the next piece of software that I'll be reviewing is Synergy which allows me just to control all my computers including my tablet so I can just have all about four screens looking at me